In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the Autodesk 123D user interface. Once you've clicked or you've opened the software from your desktop, this is the window you will see first. Um, the good thing about this software is that you get um, a Get It Started menu. You can click through either of these options, and there's, there's some pre made tutorials there you can have a look at in your own time. So what you want to do is you want to close it. Once you close it, you'll see uh, this window. Um, on your right hand side is your gallery or my corner. And this is just where uh, some products people have made on an online community. Um, and the great thing about it is, is that you can access them and use them if you want. Um, vice versa, if you have, if you create an, a product that you're happy with, you can also upload it onto this community so other people can also use it. But for the meantime, let's go up to the top right corner and click on the, this small arrow to close this. This is the the 123D uh, user interface. As you can see, there's a couple of things we're going to look at today. Um, the first one is the toolbar menu at the top. Uh, here's where you will access all the features. So if we click through each of these little icons, um, you'll see that it says sketch. So if we click on that, you get all these features around here. You can create circles, um, etc. If we go on primitives, you've got already pre-made 3D uh, shapes. Uh, create. This is if you want to create extrudes, loft, revolve, sweeps, which we'll look into later on in some of the upcoming tutorials. Press pull, freeform, construction, pattern, design intent, 2D sheet, and laser sheet. Um, at the bottom, we have our navigation bar. Um, on the top, right hand side we've got our view cube um, and this simply allows you to view, uh, to click on particular view that you want and it will take you directly there. Um, just for the sake of this exercise I will go ahead and I'll create a, a box. You don't need to worry about this, I'm going to rush through it. Um, I'll create a box And I'll hit enter. So there I've got a simple box. So now when we go to this navigation bar, if I click on front, it will take me to the front. Um, if I click on this corner, it will take me to the bottom corner. If I click to the top, it will take me to the top. Isometric view, back, side. Um, you can also click on the little arrows and kind of rotate around. Um, which is quite handy. Just have a play with that. I'm sure you'll have loads, loads of fun. Um, let's go back to um, our navigation bar. So here you have um, full navigation wheel. We'll click on that. Um, and it's kind of this futuristic kind of wheel that allows you to zoom in. Rewind, which is really handy tool because it takes you back to the steps you've previously done. Pan, that allows you to just move from side to side and orbit. It's kind of like a f free transform which allows you just to rotate um, in a free form format. So that's pretty handy, or you can access all those tools I showed you individually. So if you click on the hand, that's the pan tool. If you click on um, the plus and minus, that's you zoom in and out. Uh, free form, as you can see. And if you select a side, then you can, this option here allows you just to zoom in and look at that. Um, let's go to um, the browser. For the browser, um, it's like your layers in Illustrator on Photoshop. So if we scroll, if we click on this small arrow here and you go to um, sketches, you'll see there's a little eye 
if you turn that off, um, you, you essentially turn in off the sketch, which won't affect it because we've already got the 3D component. So if if we click on the eye for component, you'll see that everything disappears. You can turn it back on. Um, same for the sketch. Um, and last thing, if you accidentally close your browser, which I've done in the past, if you go up to your um, option at the top, your application menu, and then you go to, we need to find options down here at the bottom, and then controls, you can see here your browser, you click it, click apply, and then OK, and then you'll see you've got your browser there again. So just to recap, we've got your toolbar menu at the top, you've got your view cube on the right hand side, your navigation bar at the bottom, and your browser, which is essentially your layers on the left hand side. Um, you can also right click on your space and you've got the same toolbar options you've got at the top, but just right next to you, which is quite handy. So if you right click just on anywhere on the space, you'll get sketch, primitives, just exactly the same things you got at the top, which is quite handy. Uh, that's called the marking menu. So hopefully that's helped you um, get your head around the user interface. So I encourage you just to have a play um, and just just get your head around it all and, and in no time you'll, you'll, you'll be uh, right on your way to perfecting 1, 2, 3D.